Odysseus had taken flight to the island of the Siren Song on his mechanical wings. He wore a pair stolen from Circe's weaponarium and massage parlor. You know that Odysseus visited Circe after Polyphemus. But go on. Phoenix was not so lucky. Wingless, she just had to believe. Phoenix hurdled through the air, and then a miracle. Odysseus's wings appeared on her back. By the gods, I can fly. Those do not belong to Odysseus, and she's had them the entire time. Prometheus. She just had to believe. Phoenix couldn't wait to have the secret of the gods in her clutches. She would rule over all Olympus. You know she's trying to save all of you. Why would she do that? Maybe because we gave the mortals fire. Yeah, I chained you to a rock for all eternity as punishment. Good point. Why is she trying to help you? Exactly. and Poseidon would never give up until the mortal fell. You see, Phoenix knew the truth. Odysseus was a spy sent by mortals to steal the secret of the gods from the Cyclops. Polyphemus. Gesundheit. What does that mean? What does what mean? Anyway, Circe and Poseidon would never let Phoenix seize the secret. Skip! It's a Minotaur! But actually Cerberus! Wasn't he with Hades that weekend? Did I say Cerberus? Take it! No! Oh! Good. You're not Cerberus! Uh, is summoned by Poseidon to crack up a storm! <laughs> Oh, 
almost recovered the siren's song, which would dispel Cersei's curse. The only way to do that is with herbs. I'm saying this as a friend. You need to cool it with the herbs. You get paranoid. It's awkward. Anyway, Phoenix felt the invisible hands of her ancestors, giving her the strength to move mountains. That's not the strength of her ancestors. She's wearing the bracers of Heracles. This isn't some magical object that renders heavy things